Hi everyone, Mark here again, another Steam Tuesday. Um, looking to do some more um, science experiments. This week we're going to look at static electricity. But before we do that, we're going to look back at last week's um, experiment. Now, as with science, not everything goes right, and my experiment didn't go well this week. But what happens is, with the science, we figure out why it hasn't gone well or hasn't worked, and then we try and fix it and try and rectify it. So as you can see, what's after happening with mine is, it's after building a layer, up on the top now there's loads of more layers yeah uh, after going down to the bottom of when i was taken out of they broke off and fell down there's only a small little bit that's actually built onto the paper clip and i think the reason why that's after happening is see this little bit that was sticking out i should have actually cut that off because when i went to move it and um, to put it in a place where nobody touched it it would actually ended up touching the side of the jar so it's, I hope your uh, experiments went a lot better, but as I said, with science, it's just trial and error. So if I try this again, hopefully it'll work better the next time and actually crystallize a bit more. So anyway, move that out of the way and we get on to the experiment. So static electricity. What is static electricity? Um, basically, all physical objects uh, are made up of atoms. And inside an atom are protons, neutrons and electrons. The protons are positively charged, the electrons are negatively charged, and the neutrons are neutrally charged. Okay, and um, so basically, what that means is everything in the universe has a, a charge. Now, most of the time, charges are balanced and are the positives and the negatives um, cancel each other out, as because the rule is opposite charges attract and negative charges repel each other. So. Um, when there's an imbalance of either a positive or a negative, it has to be released somehow. And this is how we get static electricity. So if you've ever walked across a carpet uh, floor in your socks and then gone to try and touch something and you've gotten a nasty shock, well, that's static electricity. Or if you've ever taken um, a hat off and your hair's actually stood up or you've heard the, the crackling on your hair, well, that's static electricity as well. So a real-life example of static electricity would be printers and photocopiers and that's how they actually get uh, they use static electricity to get the ink and the toner onto the onto the paper and another uh, example of static electricity in nature is actually lightning it's a build up of uh, positive uh, negative charges and it actually comes back down to the earth because it has to be earthed and that's where you get the lightning rod so what we're going to do um, this week is we're going to look at two different or three different experiments on how to do um, how to work with uh, positive and negative charges. So the first one I'm not going to do actually here, but I'm going to get used to do it at home. So we need a balloon for two of them. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to rub. My hair is not long enough to do it. You, so you want to rub the, uh, the balloon on your jumper, and if you've got long hair, it should actually raise the hair up so if you hold it a little bit off it should actually raise the hair off and connect to the balloon okay so you can try it at home with any of your family members if they have any long hair or if you have any dolls or any toys that would might have it or teddies try it with that and see if they go okay but the second one what we're going to do is we're going to do an experiment to see what a balloon if it's got static electricity will actually pick up so i have a couple of items here today and um, i have We've got five in total. I've got uh, shredded up tissue paper. I've got shredded up uh, normal paper. So there's a little bit of a difference in the weight just to see. I have some tin foil. I have some Rice Krispies. And here I have a couple of paper clips just to try. So what we'll do is we'll start off with the we'll start off with the shredded up tissue paper. Okay. So we're just going to place that out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to Rub it on, you can rub it on your hair or you can rub it on your top and we'll see if it will lift it up. What do people think? Is it going to lift it up or is it not? Your guess is now before we do it and as you can see, it's lifting it up. It's not magic, it's just static electricity. Okay, so we know that will lift up the light tissue paper. So it is what it's doing is it's built up energy here and it's transferring it onto the onto the tissue paper but the problem is because the tissue paper is so light it's having the effect of lifting it lifting it off so we're going to try the heavier paper now will it, I'm wondering will it pick it up as much I think it will but let's just check 
as you can see it's picking it up it's not but the difference is in the weight as you can see it's not actually been a, like unlike the tissue paper I'm able to only lift a couple of pieces off try it again see there's a few but because it's heavier it's only taken a few off all right so now we go on to the Rice Krispies. Do we think that it's going to lift up the Rice Krispies? You can eat these afterwards as well. It's picking up a few. See that? Obviously, there we go. Because they're lighter as well, they're able to beat gravity and stick onto the, the balloon instead. Okay. Second last one is the tin foil. Alright, I'm not sure about this one. So. It's picking up some, but see someone's jumping as well. It's jumping out of the way. So it is kind of only picking up a few, but there's other ones that are jumping about as well. Okay, so it's not as good as the tissue paper or as the Rice Krispies or as the other one, but it's still picking it up. And last but not least, we have the paper clips. I'm getting nothing. So obviously, what it is is the charge there. It's jumping for a second, if you can see that. But that's all it did, it just jumped. And then because it's heavier, it didn't, the charge just transferred over to the, to the paper clip, but it didn't lift up, okay? So that's obviously not going to do it. All right, so that's a, just a quick experiment in showing how static electricity works. The next one I'm going to show you is how we can use static electricity to bend stuff. So I'm going to show you just a quick one um, on how to use a comb, uh, rub it through your hair, and how it actually uh, can bend water. All right, so I'm just going to send you over to another video for that now. Okay, everyone, so here's an example of the static electricity being generated and actually being able to have a bit of force. Um, so what you want to do is you want to have your water just trickling out of the tap like so and what you want to do is you want to take your comb and you want to just rub it along your hair about 10 to 15 times really quickly okay and then once you've done it a couple of times you should be able to see it bend the water you see that it's actually moving the water you can actually move it around and then if you want to do more you might just rub your hair again a bit more with it Able to move the water around, and I'm not actually touching it, it's bone dry. Okay, okay, so that was kind of fun, wasn't it? The key to that is actually just having a small trickle of water, and you can try that around and see what, um, see what the comb, see what else can do. You can also try it with a balloon, and um, you can try it with a few other things. And um, so that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed static electricity. Um, and we'll hopefully we'll get back to you and do another steam experiment next uh, Tuesday as well. Okay, so stay safe, wash your hands and uh, see you soon. Okay, take care.